Hi, my name is Laura Sarche, and I am the Inclusive Higher Education GA at the University of Rochester. Today, I want to tell you more about the tour program and expectations for you as faculty if you have the tour students in your classes. TOUR stands for Transition Opportunities at the University of Rochester, and it is a program that is uh, a partnership between Monroe One BOCES and the Center for Community Engagement at the U of R. So Mary Beth Spinelli is the director of the TOUR program, and she's the assistant director at the Center for Community Engagement. Glenn Saraslotti is the director of the CCE. And I, Laura Sarche, am the Inclusive Higher Education GA at the University of Rochester, and I work closely with the tour program as well. So before we start, I would like you to consider the following question. What does having the opportunity to attend college mean to you? Think about your experiences in college. Think about your experiences and opportunities after college. Uh, think about the process of getting into college for you. So I want to bring in this idea about inclusive higher education. And this is really the goal of the tour program and many of the other programs that we do here at the University of Rochester is um, to be more inclusive. So when we're talking about disability specifically, um, inclusive higher education means that <clears throat> Students with disabilities are educated alongside their non-disabled peers. Um, and I have a couple diagrams here to show you some of kind of the different ways that we might view special education and disability in college or in other settings. Um, so we have exclusion where individuals with neurodiversities or differences are um, a separate and um, not really involved. Um, separation where they're maybe involved, but in a separate way. Integration is where students are integrated into a classroom, but, or an opportunity, but um, not fully participating with students without disabilities. And inclusion is full participation of all students. And I want to stretch this even further to think about um, the barriers that we have represented by the circle in this diagram. And kind of our goal here is to be removing those barriers entirely so that um, college is accessible and um, we are fully including those with neurodiversities. So the goal of the tour program is that everyone is seen and treated as a U of R student. So our tour students are BOCES students who are in the transition program at BOCES um, and they are 18 to 21 years old um, and have um, the opportunity to participate in this program, which I'll tell you a little bit more about. So um, TOUR is part of um, a larger network of organizations that started with TIPSID grants, which is a transition and post-secondary program for students with intellectual disabilities. As you can see, these are all over the country. Um, and there's a lot of information um, in the research about students with intellectual and or developmental disabilities having lower enrollment at colleges compared to other people with disabilities of different disabilities. Um, only 23% of high school students with an intellectual developmental disability attend a two to four year college. However, data from the TIPSIT grant um, shows that students with intellectual disabilities and developmental disabilities who have gone to college are employed at a much higher rate than their peers with disabilities who have not had the opportunity to go to college. So we can see some of the barriers that um, prevent individuals with disabilities from attending colleges also then continue to impact them um, when they are seeking employment post-secondary. Post so our goals for um, inclusive higher education here at the University of Rochester and especially through the tour program are that students who are intellectually and developmentally diverse can and should be given the opportunities to go to college. And we're hoping to increase access and opportunities for students with intellectual and developmental disabilities on campuses, on the campus, in classes and socially. So this is a whole experience, not just an academic experience. 
Um, and, you know, when you think back to that first question, your experience in college and other students' experiences in college is probably um, not just the academic experience, but the experience of being on the campus and participating in social events, um, navigating campus, and um, even working on campus. So we want to raise the expectations of our tour students and especially of other U of R students and our faculty and staff. So the tour program is a mix of several different activities that the students experience throughout the day. So um, BOCES provides um, independent living skills classes um, during the day here on campus in Meliora Hall um, in a classroom. And they also provide vocational experiences, which are like a work study. Um, and many students have participated in different on-campus and off-campus work sites. So students might be placed at a restaurant or um, a building on campus and have the opportunity to work on or off-campus while they're in college, just as many other students do when they're in college. Where the Center for Community Engagement gets involved is providing the opportunity to take classes at the University of Rochester in the undergrad college and then provide social opportunities for activities with other students as well. And um, we do this through our faculty, but especially through our tour coaches who are peer mentors um, who work with our center and um, then work with our tour students directly in the classes and in the social activities. So the day for a tour student, um, is from 8 30 to 2 30 and they have um the classes in meliora with this with a voces teacher and assistant teacher and they also work with a psychologist and other service providers there um, in that classroom they spend time on their work site um and they have skills coaches from and um job coaches and job uh opportunities teachers from voces supporting them in those roles as well um, they may attend a University of Rochester class, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And then they also have connection times with um, each other and our social coaches um, a few times a week. So the work study portion is organized by BOCES, but the important piece to mention um, that students are given the opportunity to um, have a job that is appropriate and um, also trains them with skills for more than um, just entry level jobs. And we're thinking about how um, to prepare students with skills that um, can get them into competitive employment once they graduate from um, the BOCES program and tour. So um, some students are placed on campus, some students this semester are um, working in restaurants as prep, um, before the restaurant opens and um, some are working in the library warehouse. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities. And we're always looking for more opportunities for our tour students to work on campus. So if you have any ideas about how a tour student can work in your department um, in a part-time on-campus job, please let us know. That would be an awesome opportunity. Um, so now let's talk about the classes at the U of R for our tour students. So students unofficially audit a, a single class each semester if they're participating in a class um, at the undergraduate college. And um, this is always approved by our dean and an academic coach will attend the class with the tour student and the coach will audit the course. So we only place students in classes if we have permission from you, the instructor. And um, we make sure that that's not going to put classes above the cap. So the tour um, academic coaches have a primary responsibility of adapting um, the assignments and the content for the student. So the goal of this audit is not for students necessarily to meet the same objectives that the rest of the class is meeting, but to gain executive functioning and independent skills and um, have the experience of participating in a college class. So the academic coaches and the tour students will work on goals together at the beginning of the semester and throughout the semester on what is the goal for the tour student in your particular class. 
the academic coach attends the class with the tour student all through the semester and they adapt the syllabus and specific assignments for the student to be um, at the appropriate learning level. Um, and they also, the academic coaches meet with the students outside of class too for additional coaching. So your responsibility as a professor, um, if you'd like to host a tour student in your class, is to meet with the student and the coach at the beginning of the semester and just go over what the goals are. Um, if the student is participating in some of the assignments or other assignments that are assigned by the coach, um, if you grade and provide feedback um, to those, that's excellent. And then um, it's up to you how involved you are with the assignment modifications. This is primarily the, the responsibility of the coach, but if you have suggestions or questions, you can feel free to collaborate with the coach um, or reach out to me if you have more questions about this involvement. But um, it's not your responsibility to adapt the course for the individual learning goals of the student. It's just your responsibility to be aware of that um, and then um, include the student in the participation as the student and the coach see fit according to the student's individual goals. So what are some of the benefits of having a tour student in your class? Well, it's a great opportunity to build inclusive environments. And this is really our purpose. Um, and we want to raise awareness about disability and about differences and um, just remember that our um, college is supposed to be welcoming for all people. Um, this um, opportunity to host a tour student often will improve the accessibility of your class, may make you think of things and the other students may think of things that um, you maybe haven't thought of before as far as how to make your class more accessible and um, many professors have said that they, it in, has improved their teaching practice. Um, we also see tremendous growth in the tour students and the coaches and all the students in the class. Um, we've gotten great feedback from many professors about how much they love having the tour students participate in the class and share a different perspective. Um, and the coaches provide a lot of feedback to us too that they're um, perceptions about disability have really shifted throughout the semester of working with our tour students. So that's um, um, excellent to be promoting that inclusivity. Um, students will develop skills of executive functioning, goal setting, independence, and self-advocacy and self-determination. And um, this is really true of all students that um, we need to build these skills in all of our students. And so this is kind of the purpose of um, the tour students being in your classes. And it really promotes justice. And um, you know, when we think about our Melior values, um, we think about um, inclusion and justice for all groups of people and um, promoting learning. Um, so it's an excellent opportunity that you have to support a tour student in your class. So if you'd like to have a tour student in your class, if you'd like to host um, please let us know and we'll be happy to see what students are interested in taking your class. Um, you can reach me at IHEGA at rochester.edu. I also have a link to the tour website where we have resources for you to check out and a little more information about tour if you're interested. And Think College is the overall um, organization that has more information about the TIPSID grant if you're interested in looking at that. And they have some great resources on that website too. I'll be posting these um, websites in the description of the video as well. So um, thank you so much for your time and hope to hear from you soon.